Let's find out what, uh, what kind of thing a little bitch boy was running from. Is it in here? Oh, hey, boy. That little douche. Is there a thing right over yonder? There's probably a thing right over yonder. <sighs> Something through this door. All these doors are probably locked. Nope. That bed looks pretty tempting right now. Not gonna lie. Ah, fuck. It's a locket again. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. You're gonna try I didn't to grab even it. I think it was real, but you're gonna try and well, grab it. Yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it, just in case. Just in case it actually works. Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. You're gonna get killed again. Find his keepers. Uh. I found it, so by the ancient law of finders keepers, I kind of feel like I findered, I keepered. Yes. <laughs> Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. You think Augustine lured us in here on purpose? What? So she could sacrifice one of us? You. Well, you. There is one way you. to ensure our safety. Gross, dude. What? Bro, bro, you are, you're so dead. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, but the cover is the first thing you look at, and if the first thing you look at isn't interesting, then I'm not interested. Makes sense. The history of Lowe's and other hundreds. What a hell of Lowe's. If you ever wonder why Bedfordshire is called Bedfordshire, question the meaning of call and or simply being confused. I'm confused by reading all of these texts about why Woodbridge doesn't well doesn't have a wood bridge. Well, Dr. Dollard may have the answers. A historian specializing in the east of England, John D. Dollard, J.D., would literally wrote, who literally wrote the book. God damn. On the history of the nation's towns, when this door-stopping encyclopedia of East England, now with the entomology of East England, what the fuck? The history of Lowe's and the other hundreds, he returns to the region to unravel this history of its towns and the complex webs of beliefs and conflicts that gave them their names. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I hidden meanings. The changing nature of languages often results in a lack of modern consensus of the eti etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem patent, patently obvious may be hiding a myriad of meanings. For example, there is an East Anglian town named Woodbridge. The historians doubt ever had a literal wood wooden bridge. Even if it had such thing, it's unlikely to have considered the noteworthy blah blah blah. blah. Okay, cool. Hand meanings. I found the key. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that which binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of its life's blood, of his life's blood, shall a man find himself moving on to the next. Why then? If a soul may naturally move on from one reality into a higher one by shedding of its blood, should we be surprised to learn such shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality? We might therefore conclude it is simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls that brings these worlds together. Okay, so if you kill, then the worlds come together? Or if you die? In so doing, we might form our own gates between this world and the other, and, and the other, and, and the other. In the beninging. In so doing, perchance move through them while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the world of the ancients. What knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter if the death of our own. This style of English. Look, English is not my first language. 
All right, it is hard enough to reach English on his own from time to time. And even though my English is pretty good, I'll do, I, I'll, I, I, never mind. Never mind. I stand corrected. My English is decent. I struggle reading English. I never turn on subtitles either, but I do it in game and in, in videos for you guys. Aha. Uh huh? All right, well, it's pretty slick. That hot shot is pretty slick. All right, so that is definitely the way to go. So what's over here? So what is over doors, here? Doors, doors, doors. Doors, 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 I'm singing the door song, dear dears. Oh, doors! No? All right, well, there's absolutely nothing over here. Well, thanks for clearing that up. That's, that's great. Is there something with this? That looks something. Uh, uh, it's, it's a lamp. It's definitely a thing, but it's not the thing that I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for secrets. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, no, sure. A, a secret passage. Why not? Why not? Look, old houses like this have secret passageways, all right? They just do. Just accept it. All right. That's the way to go. Nope. Is that Augustine? Kind of looks like Augustine. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone, March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Here Augustine. Week since our last but 1961? An attack that's an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me. Do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? Well, she definitely this has. Instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them. I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes. You have a future. Does he? And it could be boundless. Could it? You simply have to trust me. All right, so Frank was working for Augustine. Dr. Lieber exerted a strong psychological hold over Frank Stone. Yeah, she was using him. Like... I know, don't, you don't have to show me the disappointment every single fucking time. I am looking for them. I cannot find them. They're not here. Yo, what's this? Yo, what is this that one? Is creepy. That's just a fact. Whoa! I don't know about this one. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that is, that is just... Oh, God! All right. There's something in your socket now, and there's something in your hole now. What the fuck was that? Ah, I found another one. I found another one. That's a little. That's a uh, sacrificial knife. That's eleven out of twelve. I'm pretty sure that I missed. Well, at least two. God. All right. Well, you're creepy. Fuck you. I don't even know where the little one went. I don't, I don't think I want to know. Is it in there? Is it in there now? Yes, it is in there now. I need four more. I need four more. All right. That's cool. Fine by me. Hey, you, can the camera fucking move over? Jesus. All right, moving on. Moving on. Do whatever the hell. That's a glass box. Modern. Where did the one guy go?
Where'd he go? He did? Is that a string? You need to understand. Why should I? Hey! I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit, time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one I trust good reason. Them. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. Yeah, what is that even supposed to mean? That there are different realities. I think Sam might be right. I support you, Sam. I don't know if I, I got you, my boy. An hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. She has oh, fucking issues. Frying pan. I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Yes. Break the glass and run. Oh, great. Are we going to watch Murder Mail? Is we're this watching the movie you made. We're watching mo yeah, the Murder Mill. It is. Murder you Mill. Film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Just Daddy, give it to him. I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? Did he swipe it? Right here, it was right in here. She swiped it. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. <laughs> uh, I, it was before anybody else got here. I. I I am Ed. You fucking weasel. Couldn't have said it better myself. You fucking weasel. You are lying to us from the second we got here. Come yeah, on, you're dead. Boy. It wasn't personal. <gasps> Unfucking believable. You are all kinds you. of dead. Augustine just, you know, pay me a little extra to hang around, keep you company. It <laughs> started fun. <laughs> hey. You get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? A sacrifice. A sacrifice. Are we gonna go back in time now? All right. Murder mail. Ah, here he comes. Ah, here he comes. There he is. That's Frank. I won't let anything happen to you. Nah. Yep. Nah. Shoot. Shoot. Run the arc. Why? Nah. 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 Frank. 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 Where? Uh, Frank? No, 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 no. You're fine. Just wiggle. Just wiggle. Just wiggle. 
And screw your shoulder. Don't worry about it. That was not me. That, that was not me. That was not me. <laughs> I think I think she's scripted to die. No. No, that's not what happened. That never happened. Don't look mad. This that never happened. That never happened. Never. Not in your reality, but in some reality. I, uh, think it's about time I just kinda made my exit. Augustine? No! What? What? He just squelt. <laughs> he just screamed. I was trying to say screamed and yelled at the same time. He just screlled. We were no, for no reason. Shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and. That was from. I know. <sighs> yep. Right. Just casually stroll up in there. It's fine. Uh, We're not in any stay rush. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But Dad, you stay right here, Robert. Roger. Don't you fucking move, boy. Sam. Oh, so that's where that goes. That's where that goes. All right, find the teenagers. Do you have a flashlight? Well, that's Bonnie. Like I did not kill Bonnie. I did. That was not me. That was not me. Look. What do you mean? Look. Look at what? Bonnie. It's through the shoulder. What do you mean? Oh my God, I'm too late. No, no, Dad, Dad, it's me, it's me. Damn it! I, I told you to. What? What happened? That happened. Wait, I'm coming with you. I gotta help. No, 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 Robert. Whatever is down there is too dangerous. I can't let you get hurt. I can't. But it's my fault. I got them in here. I... If you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Well, we're all sorry. Can we move on? Is there a way to actually save Bonnie? That's because I took the 20 bucks, isn't it? I shouldn't have grabbed the 20 bucks. I Back shouldn't have. Here. A nightmare repeating itself. Find Chris and Linda in the storm him. drain. Yeah, we're gonna find uh, the Screamy McGee as well. You have a flashlight, sir? Can you grab it, please? kids in their damn movie. Uh. Linda. All right. So, yeah, I'm not going to go in there just yet cuz you know, I got to I got to I got to look for secrets. I got to look for Secrets. All right, so this is just a dead end. Gotcha. Who's there? Who's there? This this is creepy. 
Oh, you can actually move around like that. Oh, that is creepy. Okay, hang on. I'm going to do that here in a second. I'm going to... Okay. I'll be doing this. Oh, this is, this is actually creepy. This is actually a little creepy. Can't lie to you. Hello? Who's there? No one? Squeeze on through. The sound is going to die here, right? There's something about this camera. Maybe There's something the about this, this camera. Do I need to keep it out? I'm going to keep it out. This is a very tight field of view. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not. I don't like it. Oh. This is alright. It feels like. Feels like what? He's here. He is here. Can't see anything though. I'm pretty sure he's gonna show his face at some point. Like he has this aura around him. All right. It's fine. I feel like that's that's the way to go. That's the way to go. So what's over here? Secrets? Uh, secret collectibles? Nope. Guess not. Something over here. Nope. It's nice lit up over there. I want to go there. Can I go there? Please. Can I go to the place where it's nice and lit up? Please. I'd like to. I. I, I would like. Oh, that is the place where it's nice and lit up. Hey! More symbols. Also more collectibles. That's the way to go. That was definitely the way to go. Not nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing over here. Alright. Okay, guess I'll move on. Let's break on. I saw, I saw that. Get it together, Sam. Come on now. For them. All right. Whoa! What's up, Frank? Long time no see, buddy. I want to die. You want to? No. Go on. Thank you. Holy hell. See, he just shows up. His aura shows up. You know exactly where he is. Don't worry about it. You got, you got your magical camera. Superpowers. If only it could help me find collectibles. I find this. Whoa! The spirit. What are you? You're cool. Like a messed up Barbie. Awesome. That's cool. That's cool. You know what else is cool? Finding those little, little things in the, in the box of, uh, what did I call it? Disappointment. Watching us. Is this the way to go? I feel like this is the way to go. Oh, this is definitely the way to go, isn't it? This is the way to go, isn't it? I guess not. I... Alright. Then why? Why? Why all of this? Something in here? No? Alright, that was just a whole lot of nothing. Well, that's not entirely true. I found that one doll. So it's not a whole lot of nothing. It's just mostly nothing. So the doll's right there. What? That can't be the only thing. I checked. I checked. I checked. I checked. I checked. I checked. Now, moving on. I'm moving on. I checked. Both sides. Nope. Nah. Now I'm good. I'm I'm perfectly fine over here. Don't worry about it. No, I'm gonna I'm not I'm not worrying about it. I'm not gonna. Sheriff. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I'm okay. 
there's this thing here and yep. it's after us and we can't see it and it doesn't make any sense but it's fucking real and it's fucking yep. trying to kill us oh my god oh my god i know i know i, I know i know this. don't worry about it where did you get this camera it, it, it was the when the other one broke we, we, we were at the shop in town and, and, the, and the lady she, we got it from her she, she just had it I found Bonnie. Where are Jaime and Linda? Jamie dead. Jaime. Jaime's dead. <sighs> Fuck. Stone finally got him. <sighs> what do you mean with that? Linda? Now Linda, fine. Last Linda. time I saw Linda, she dropped the camera and had to go down a tunnel to get away. I think she was heading towards the storm drain we used to get into the mill. I gotta get to her before Stone. I, I wanna help. Stone's my problem. Always has been. I gotta fix it myself. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just stand here and wait for it to kill me too? Yep. It'd be a lot safer if you can find some place to hide. I'll draw him away. Or maybe... I'll be okay. Take her with you because you have... The, the magical camera. Good advice. And that is the last we ever saw of Chris. Chris survived. Pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Whoa, really dark. Whoa, really dark. But I wanted to find some secrets in here, if uh, if possible. No, it's not possible. So was that an optional thing? Could I have missed this? I could have missed this. And then Chris wouldn't have died. No? Wait, I said that wrong. I would have missed this. And then Chris would have died. And then she wouldn't have hid, causing her to die. I did a good... I could have did a good thing. Because that's the last thing we'll ever see of Chris. I'm pretty sure. Linda, Linda, I got you. She's right around the corner. Right Shit. around the corner. I gotta help her before it's too late. I gotta help myself before I can't find any more secrets. Linda? Got you. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. You little beastie. So what happens if he catches you? Is it just game over? Linda, stop moving. He just, he's gone. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing. Is it just another... No, that is... A hold to open. So, ah, box of disappointment. I was here. I've been here. What do you mean I've been here? Am I? Am I back in the the start? Am I back in the? Huh? Hey, 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 hey! I see this. I see that. I see that. I see. I see the thing. I don't dare do the seeings. These oh. monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. Yep, I'm back in the start of the storm break. All right. Okay, Linda, I'm coming. I'm coming, Linda. Linda, just hang on. I'm coming. I'm coming, Linda. Escape from Frank Stone in the storm drain. Music is still going on. Can you stand? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Go, get out. I'll hold it off. 
Oh, she all kinds of fucked. Come on, Frank, you and me, buddy. No, oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, a little close there. I did not see the, the cue. Oh. Frank. 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 You got to understand. Frank. I misclicked. Frank. I, Frank, I... That's not me. It is me. Frank, Frank, you gotta understand. You gotta, you gotta stop. Frank, you gotta, you gotta stop, bro. Are you, are you done? Can you, can you go? Oh god! I'm shooting. I'm holding it. I'm doing the thing. Look, I'm 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 hold. I'm doing the thing. All right. And that's the end of Frank, again. So, what would happen if I didn't do any of it? Did would they all just die? It? Uh, it's, uh, I think it's in there. And Augustine uh, wants the uh, tape so she can let Frank loose upon the world and destruction and death. He's Dad. fine. He's fine. He just got is knocked it, over. What do you mean? Over? No. There's still one thing left we've got to do. If, I, if he was going to say it's just getting started, I would be pissed. You got to break it. You gotta, you gotta make sure it's broken. You gotta break it. Ma the massacre at Gurren Mansion or something, right? That's what it said, right? Is she gonna let Frank Stone out? No. Uh, accuse, confront Stan. Now Where you, you going? One goddamn second. Where what you the going? Fuck? Get off of me! You understand what you've done here? Do you have any idea? Who cares what she does with this shitty little B movie? Just let it go, old man. Your joke. Hit him. And here's hit him, the punchline. Hit, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. <laughs> yes. You broke my nose. You you my nose. My nose. <laughs> Hi, quick disclaimer, the lighting in the original recording broke for some reason. I don't know what happened. So I went back, re-recorded it, and now everything is fine. I'm going to do my best to line everything as perfectly up as I can in order to just keep the video going but you're gonna hear me ramble about the lighting being broken just note that what you are watching is a re-recording with the lighting fixed so with that being said let's 
move on with the video. You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. Yep. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. Yep. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for and a lot of hell to pay. What happened to the lights? Help! Help me! Help! Help me get him! Madison! Oh, hell no! Nah. Uh, wait. That's for him. That, that's for, that's for him. That's for Stan. You're gonna. You're gonna. Die. You're gonna. Uh. That's you know, I can't really see what's happening, but he just. He just ate him. What is that? That is Frank Stone. In very poor lighting. God. I can't see a fucking thing. It's Frank Stone. We gotta go. We gotta run. Now! Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark? I can't see anything. Love the music though. <laughs> what is happening? Oh God. You know, I think the lighting broke. I think the lighting broke. Where is it? Maybe it's not. It's right there. Look at that. Okay, look, you know, I couldn't see a goddamn thing. I think the lighting in that cinematic broke. Which sucks, really. It... God damn it. Why did I think that would suddenly work? I must be losing it. God damn it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, hang on. Please Whoa, yes, 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 yes. What? What? What the fuck yes. just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me, I wish I knew. Oh, I got another one. I got I got another one. Nothing? Alright. Nothing. What is with the red lighting? Sure. It's whatever. It's fine. We gotta run, run away from Frank. And I'm hoping that I can get another good shot of him. When the lighting, you know, isn't broken. If we can get that working, we could probably power the elevator. Let's try. Probably. Probably. All right. Look. I think the generator still works. It's missing some parts. Before time runs out. All right. All right. 
before I go do anything, I am out of time. No, never mind. Never mind. The parts are right here. I'm gonna fix the generator. Issue. If this card is lost, stolen, or misplaced, report it immediately to the security office. See the still. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Augustine Lieber. Psychiatric doctor. She worked at Cedar Steel Mill. She worked at the mill. Collect all the champion artifacts. What the hell? I got an achievement. Well, another box of disappointments. I'm missing three. Ah, it's, I'm, ah I'll take it. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to quickly do the generator before time runs out or something. And um, then I'm going to end the video. Repair it. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I gotcha. Ooh. <laughs> God damn it. Succeed 10 great skill checks. I, I'm, I like living on the edge. That's annoying. It's, it's so annoying. Got you. I got you. Now, can we have some light in here? Some actual good lighting? Do you think that fixed the elevator? Prepared all generators. Gonna find out. I am getting close to the end. Frank, are you here, boy? Frank boy. Uh, that, uh, every every woman for himself, Maddie. Uh, uh oh. Oopsie. Oh, she could, Maddie has the necklace. Maddie has the little pendant. She is protected. Well. I, I messed up. My, that's my bad. That was my bad. What are you doing? Where did you just go? Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. You mean a My monster? Champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. Cool. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. Can we see it? Are we gonna see it? Ah, 
so that's why the sky is red. Are you gonna die? Is the entity gonna kill you? No. Now you you're dead. Everyone dies in their own unique, lonely way, like a fingerprint. But you and your mother seem to die very much the same. Oh, she was hooked like in the chest. All right, all right. Offerings. Nah, that's that's not good. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. <laughs> all right. Oh, Frank, you look cool. And there it is. There it is. There it is. That's that's the entity. That's exactly how it goes in Dead by Daylight. I told you I'm going to get everyone killed. Alrighty then. Well, the entire world is dead. Look at him! Frank, you look so cool. The entity. Such an interesting thing. Very stranger things like. Do I get to play as Frank now? Do I get do I get to play an actual game of Death by Daylight now? I awake. Unsure where I am. Then memory floods back and I know. Our world is gone. Consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. Oh, uh, I want to keep going. I want to keep going, but I don't. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I am Frank. I am playing as Frank now. Killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. Isn't that an endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death was no escape? That's the character and screen now, of Death by Daylight, the little campfire. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then, <laughs> there it is. The most perfectly flawed playthrough of the casting of Frank Stone. But well, I didn't get every single one of them killed. But I did get a lot of them killed. Which is not entirely my, my intent. I wanted for that stand guy to die. And he died in the most 
amazing way, but he, uh, I think, I think the lighting broke. Unless it's supposed to be like that. If it's supposed to be like that, then that's just bad design. But I think the lighting broke. So I'm going to try to, well, obviously I'm going to replay the game on my own uh, over again to see if I can find all the collectibles and choose different things. And you know what? I, I might record it. I might record it and then make like a, a highlight video out of it or something. I don't know, maybe. In terms of the game itself, it's a super massive games game. So it looked, visually, it looked really, really good. Character design, environmental design, soundtracks, you know, the, the uh, ambient sounds, all amazing. But I really didn't feel like the choices really mattered all that much. Supermassive games have gotten more into a thing like you make a choice and then later down the line, a cho uh, something happens. And at that, at the point of it happening, you've already forgotten the, the choice or I don't know. It's just not as responsive as I would like it to be. That was the thing in Until Dawn as well, but at least in Until Dawn, it gave you a flashback of the choice you made then leading up to whatever happened at that time, like someone died or something, which I think is a lot better. And they did the same things for Little Hope, Man of Medan, the other two and the quarry as well. Although the quarry was, wasn't as bad, but I just, I just, I just don't like that kind of feedback to a choice. Because that's what these games are all about. You make a choice and then something happens and you got to live with that decision. But it's so subtle. It's so subtle. And in Until Dawn, it was either like way, way later, but then it showed you a flashback of you making a choice. Or when you make a choice, something happened immediately. I think Supermassive Games should really go back to the drawing board to Until Dawn, see what made that game so good, and then try to capture that lightning in a bottle again, in another bottle. As per usual, you know what you get with these kinds of games. Very cringy dialogue. The story, I mean, it was pretty interesting. You know, uh, set in the Dead by Daylight universe, flesh out that lore a little bit more. It's pretty interesting. So in terms of the story itself, it was pretty interesting, pretty good. The text, the reading went way over my head. I'm not, I'm not that skilled in English to really understand that kind of English. So that's, that's, that was a little infuriating. It went over my head. I really, I don't know. I don't know what they were saying. Just a whole bunch of stuff. And I didn't really feel like it was that important to the story. So I don't know. The reading. That's just collectibles. It's whatever. Gameplay wise, I'm sorry, but I gotta say this has got to be the worst version that I've seen. I've never played Until Dawn, Little Hope, Madame Madan, the other two, and the quarry. I never played it myself, but I've seen a lot of Let's Plays of you know other people playing it. This, this just didn't feel comfortable playing. It felt really sluggish, very unresponsive. It felt like there was a delay in the movements. The camera was way too close and the choice you had unlimited time when making a choice, unless there was a specific timer. And with these games, you gotta make split second decisions. You know, you gotta make a quick, you can't just sit there and think, hmm, what am I gonna do? Which is what I did a few times. You can't, you can't do that. You gotta make split second decisions. Like in Until Dawn, I keep referring back to Until Dawn because Until Dawn was the best thing ever. It was such a great game. Back in the day, it only released on uh, PlayStation. It's getting released on PC now as well. They're remastering it or something, but I've seen Until Dawn so many, so many times. I know every, I know what every single decision leads to. If you want to see me play Until Dawn, regardless of me knowing literally every single choice and the outcome of said choice, put it down in the description and I'll consider it. If it were just up to me, I'm not gonna play Until Dawn because again, I know every single decision, every single outcome because I've, <laughs> I've seen so many damn Let's Plays. But still, this game, the casting of Frank Stone, it was interesting. It was pretty unique, set in a different uh, universe, the uh, Dead by Daylight universe, which is really, really interesting. Really liked how the killer at the end got to the, to the little campsite, which is the loading screen in Dead by Daylight. I'll put it on screen now. So that is really interesting. That, that's really cool. There were a lot of different nods and, and Easter eggs and hints to Dead by Daylight, and I really appreciate that. And with everything put together, I would definitely rate this game a solid 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. It does need a lot of work in the gameplay department. It does need a lot of work in the facial animation department. I guess some things were just... I was too much. It was way too much or nothing at all. But I'm starting to ramble, so that's really all I gotta say. I'm gonna go.
Bye.